Welcome back on another Fishy Friday and today we're going to cook with bycatch. As the UK we are next to the North Sea and there's a lot of beautiful fish uh, living in this amazing sea. Fish we are not really well known with and one of them is dab. We're going to cook a pan fried dab and kill pesto. So before we start cooking the hero, this beautiful fish, we're going to start making a pesto, a kale pesto. Normally a pesto is made by basil, uh, pine nuts, parmesan cheese, olive oil. But today we're going to change it a bit with cashew nuts and kale. And kale is a typical winter veggie. And kale, did you know, it contains more vitamins, uh, vitamin C, than an orange. Okay, so let's kick off. Got my kitchen machine here, so I've got the kale. So I use like 50 grams of kale, 50 grams of Parmesan cheese, 100 grams of unsalted cashew. Oh, there we go. And olive oil, good drizzle. Maybe like 150, 200 meals. No salt, no salt because uh, the Parmesan cheese is already salt. And I have a taste after it's ready to see if I need to adapt the flavor of the pesto. There we go. Perfect. The texture is, is really good. And now I'm going to have a taste. Mm. Texture is perfect. Perfect. Um, I just give it a bit of acidity juice of half a lemon, a bit of pepper. Okay, so pesto ready. Now it's time for the dab. A beautiful flatfish. And did you know that the flatfish actually is born as a normal fish with two eyes uh, like us, uh, one on the left side, one on the right side. But after it's like one centimeter, it turns around and it becomes a flatfish with the eyes at one side of the fish. Crazy story, but a true story. Okay, uh, nature is beautiful. We're going to cut off, I'm going to pan fry, and I'm going to pan fry it as a whole. I cut off the inside of the tail, might burn, and I take off the side fins. Next step, I'm going to score the fish. Both sides. Actually, this fish has been gutted already. Season the fish, salt and pepper. Okay, so fish is prepped. So with the fish, with the kale pesto, I'll serve some slowly cooked tomatoes too. I take a little pan, add a drizzle of olive oil, add a nice bunch of cherry tomatoes, two garlic cloves, cut them in half, have them with the tomatoes, a bit of pepper. I have it on low heat, I cover the pan for like maybe five, 10 minutes. Time to pan fry the hero. I've got a beautiful fish pan here. Um, it's not really necessary as long as you make sure that the size of the fish will fit into your pan. That's important. I have it on high heat. Add a bit of vegetable oil. Okay, so I start with the white side under. So I have the fish in the pan on high heat and it gives me like three, four minutes each side. You want to have the skin like a bit golden brown, a bit caramelized and the inside should stay like nice, tender and juicy. A little check on the tomatoes. Look at this, there we go. A bit sizzling. This is important. A flat fish is flat and it could be long like this one. You don't want to, you want to make sure that the bone is not going to break when turning, while turning around. So I've got my spatula, another one here, and I gave it a turn. Look at this, this is beautiful, this is amazing. So with flat fish, on the underside it's really flat, but above it gives a little curve. So now we are pan frying on the curved side, so what I do, I have my fish to the side of the pan, and I just lay it on this side, and I have my pan very slight angle. So now I'm pan frying it at this side and then a few minutes later I gave it that side. Easy as that. 
So fish, beautifully ready. I give it a bit of rock salt. Nice molten sea salt. The same I'll do with the tomatoes. And now, because the fish is hot, tomatoes are ready, are hot, I want to give the pesto just a little heat. There we go. I just make this warm. So, fish, number one. Okay, so the pesto. I've got here my bunch of beautiful cherry tomatoes. I give it a bit of lemon zest and just one slice of lemon. Okay, so this is dab with tomato confit, a bit of lemon and kale pesto. But it's so important, guys, that we need to respect more species coming out of the sea. Not just asking for the, for the major ones like the cod or Dover soles or turbo. This is an amazing fish and the most important, it's quick to make and it's really affordable. Okay, I'll have a taste. Mm. Wow, this pure clean taste of the sea, of the fish, together with the very, very elegant taste of this pesto with kale, a bit earthy, uh, the nutty taste and creaminess of the olive oil. And if you have these tomatoes with it, you have a perfect balanced meal. A seafood meal, affordable, quick to make, and you take care of the oceans. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them in the box down below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon on another Fishy Friday. Bye bye.